hey, bro code doesn't apply when you're it's on a, a different time zone. Yeah, it's in a not different the same. time zone, you know? <laughs> you grow up. No, do my best he's not. He's trying to. to stay this way, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what it was. Are you sure they offered you $5 million? To play I turned ball? it down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the hunt for a new guilt-free snack? Look no further than Kudo Popcorn, the official protein popcorn of the USC. Kudo Popcorn's revolutionary cooking method allows each bag of popcorn to have 10 grams of whey protein in every bag while still tasting delicious. Yes, you heard that right. 10 grams of protein in every single bag. You'll be amazed how Kudo Popcorn has somehow made your favorite healthy snack even tastier and healthier. For a limited time, our listeners get an exclusive 25% off discount when they use the code wide open at kudosnacks.com. That's 25% off with code wide open at k-u-d-o snacks.com save some money and support the official protein popcorn of the ufc and get popped i mean you're 17 you should be able to do whatever you want i feel like i was not making good de- uh, good decisions at 17 uh, justin uh, anyone running fun. the amount of subs that you had in that bmw yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake <laughs> just the fact that nobody s- stood up and said hey maybe don't do that i'm on a sub justin had a channel <laughs> yeah, I had uh, two subscribers in the yeah, back of my yeah. BMW. Two and they were loud. <laughs> they were live, inches. too. We are live. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, we got our good friend Justin sitting in on this one. And then uh, Mike in the middle. So we're running five. five oh, actually, six. Again. We got Jamie on the back here, too. So we're running six. <laughs> We've got a moth problem. Dude, moth I, I have so I've many moths in my office. Yeah, been meaning what, 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 to talk about the that. The doors have been left open at night. The doors have been opened? Yeah, all yes. night. Not all night, all night, but they're open for periods of time when it's dark out and it's light in here, so the moths fly in here because they like light. I was just thinking, so you're, you're in Australia or wherever, crazy parts of the world, you have all kinds of critters. We can't really compare it to that, but the seasonal bugs here, and I'm not even talking like summer, winter, fall, it's like it starts well. We start with the little bugs, then we have like the lake fly, fruit flies, then we have uh, bed, mosquitoes, bed then bugs. we have bed bugs. Uh, sure bed bugs. But uh, seriously, and then we have June bugs. Like there's like a whole bunch of June bugs, and they all die. And then it's like more mosquitoes. Then it's like ladybugs. Then it's like flies. Then it's bees. Yeah, then it's hornets. Yep, yep, yep. It's just weird, <laughs> but it all comes in waves. Yeah. What else, Mike? Yeah. yeah what other <laughs> bugs? <are there? laughs> oh man. What about the butterflies? Oh yeah, butterfly, dragonflies, dragonflies. But it, they all come in waves. It's just like crazy. Yeah. It's like dragonflies are all there, then they're all gone. And it's just really uh, makes you wonder. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the bug <laughs> talk. <laughs> I yeah, I had to get that off my chest, bro. I was wondering where we were going with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Take That's us, it. Dude. That's. I'm just saying, like, it's crazy how many different waves of bugs we have here. Yeah, <laughs> it's nuts, man. A lot of bugs. I hate, I hate to shut bugs. you down on no, your first no, thing I, bringing up. You yeah, want to know why correct. there's so many moths in here? Well, because the garage doors are left open. I it was after one night in particular. I don't know what night it was, but we came back and uh, I'm not. It's not your. It's no big deal. But <laughs> I actually have Mike, a video of it. Yeah. Mike, Evan, and Cody were sitting in the garage, and they had legit every oh, at least three of the doors open all the way. It was night, so it was dark out. And then the next day we had a lot of moths, which I don't mm. really care. It's not a big deal, but it is. But that's nice. why we have a lot of them in here. When it's fall, it's nice to have the doors open. It, is. it does feel a little airy in here. I love having nice. the doors open. It kind of feels like you're working outside, even though you're in your office. And I, I prefer it actually. Yeah, we've been thinking about getting a water fountain put in. Yeah, inside it's a the vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe, man. It's yeah. something about it. Could you <laughs> not imagine fountain? walking in here, the sweet aroma of gasoline, and then a water fountain just. Yeah. The water fountain's full of gasoline? No, no, no. It's, <laughs> full, it's full of water, but, like, you know, it's just the sweet trickling sound of what? water over some f- rocks. You know the uh, the we should water fountain one. in the mall, though, in Fargo? I feel like and every like big that mall in, has a water th- fountain. That yeah. entire uh, area of the mall just feels fresh. There's just it's something just about it. It's a vibe, yeah. man. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try to do. I think I do remember looking up, like, water features, they put, like, negative ions in there, which is good. Not like negative. It's it's a positive thing. So I mean, it's they, better. They put negative ions on it, or just water has it, and then added. yeah, it, like it traps all the bad things, and so water is good for your air quality. Is what I'm trying I'm like, to. It's reminded me of like humid, like Sims or like <laughs> roller coaster tycoon. You know, you can just drop in a fountain, and then it says brings air quality up <laughs> one notch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're just creating a little ecosystem in here. Yeah, it started with uh, yesterday. We woke Mike up with ten gallons of water. Well, we yeah, have some negative ions in there. Ten to heavy that gallons airplane. all came crashing down on Micah at once. It was one of our awesome. better wake ups, actually. And one of 
I know what happened yesterday, but it's stuck in my head. I'm not joking. I have uh, mental pictures of like every time that I can remember of you guys waking me up. And this one was no joke, like a mini tidal wave. <laughs> I woke up just in time and two buckets. I could no joke in slow motion, see the water hit me in the face. And it was just aggressive. That's all. It was a lot. Dude, does, does that <laughs> like piss you off? Like waking up like that because it would actually upset me. Like yeah, it would start same. me off on like a bad. Do you think yeah. you'd start. have much ground to stand on? No, 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 I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. Think, I yeah. wouldn't. But you know, yeah, I, I would be a little irritated and I'd get over it. But the, like the Mike only, is just like, oh, good morning, good morning. <laughs> like if it was like <laughs> seven in the morning and we're going to the airport, yeah, a little then, unjust. Yeah, like, you know what? The the time probably. It, well, make no, a big after it, when it's yeah. noon, it's like uh, then, well, yeah, yeah, probably should be up. The the water hit me at eleven oh one on the dot, and. uh that's okay. That's justified. <laughs> Bro, what? But uh, <laughs> but if it was at seven and we did like, and we had a flight to get on, sure, do it. But if it was at seven and we didn't have like anything to do, and you guys were like, just let's just for. that would be funny because then I'd be like, what the hell, dude? And then you know, you know me, I'd probably like dry off and try to go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, you would. You just go to the other bed right next to you. But yeah, uh, Ben, you asking me that reminded me because like a lot of subscribers ask me that. It's a very common question. So, yeah, when they wake you up, doesn't that... Well, how do you feel about that? And Soggy. Yeah. Dude, it would tick Wet. me off. Like, not that I need to wake up in the most perfect way every day, but sometimes when we're on trips, Ken, bless his soul, he's getting us where we need to be. We go, hey, you getting up yet? Time to go. And it's the worst way to wake up. It's just with a strong male voice in your ear going, get up. Dude, when Ken has kids... Oh, they are going be. to hate being woken up by dad. <laughs> well, it's normally at that time, it's like, okay, we have X amount of minutes left to go and nobody's out of bed or very few people are out of bed. So it's kind of like we got to push the ball to get it going. Is this guy's mic on? Yeah, no, it's not. Not. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. not. Oh, he doesn't I have bought the wrong adapter. Yeah, oh, it's really? not his fault. So he's just but, running GoPro audio. Uh, maybe we cut that whole bit right there. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Damn, Ken. Man. No, let's use that. Yeah, no, we yeah, can we'll use, use that. GoPro audio. Ah, what was I going to say? Dude, I can't. You have to be like top ten all time for like wet mornings. <laughs> uh, uh, like you get. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, definitely. You, you get woken up by an absurd <laughs> amount of water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, top ten. Top That's ten. That's my all boy, time. Mike. <laughs> wet Mike. Yeah. So, Justin, how how's life, dude? I mean, uh, I want to know just a little bit about what you've been up to, and also you went to Europe with. Yeah. Your wife yeah. for uh, like two weeks. Honestly, that was a kind of like a trip of a lifetime. Both my wife like and it. I wanted to go to, uh, we both been to Europe, but never to Italy before. And holy cow, it kind of ruins food and food, wine, anything you drink. Oh, <laughs> you're good, you're good. Just getting this out of your face. There you go. Yeah, it is a great place to visit. Two weeks was a long time, but probably about right. Got for, to get everything in. It's a long God, time. So that's you're long saying time. I felt like you were over there for yeah, an entire so quarter. We yeah. didn't two know like, how Two weeks, long. that's 14 days. Yeah, it was all of 14 days, and oh. it was it was good. It was when really Ken good. went to Europe for two weeks, he never came back the same. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, whatever <laughs> happened to Ken? Ken, what did happen over there? Did study abroad. <laughs> funny to so ask him something saying, and just no, hear a voice in the ether. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Ken, I did study abroad. <laughs> Ken went to Europe. I swear he came back and it's like he had missed an entire lifetime. Like everything <laughs> we talk about, he would just go, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, anyone that's like, I forget how old were you when you did that? <laughs> 20. 22. How oh, long okay. were you gone? How many weeks? <laughs> six six <laughs> weeks. Dude, that is a long you time. That is a long time. <laughs> you have anyone in the age of 18 to like 22, 23 right now just terrified to go to like basic training or possibly even study abroad. You missed out on everything. Well, the, the reason it, it got really weird when he got back is because he was studying abroad with Jake's girlfriend at the time. Mm. And Ken was like was basically just trying to swoop. And he thought, he thought, like, being on a different continent was okay. It's like, hey, bro code doesn't apply when you're it's on a different time zone. It's a different, different time, zone. Yeah, it's a different time zone, you know? And so, obviously, he came back, and, and uh, Jake had a bone to pick with him. You know, that was right around the time that he slammed him on the ground for the old dick oh, yeah. pick thing. Was it? Yeah. You know, he was probably getting even. What Not happens in time. Europe stays in Europe. Actually, I was very jealous of you being in, in Italy. Honestly, I, I would love to go. Yeah, or, or I, just really anywhere over there, but it looked like a really nice time. 
we went to Venice and then to Cinque Terre. Uh, then we went to Florence, then Rome, and then Naples. So it every was place so cool. looking like a Windows background it, or laptop background. It, it really it you almost get numb to how incredible stuff looks over there. It's really really cool. But yeah, it looks like it's a movie. It yeah, like everywhere looks fake. Yeah, I mean to. Anybody who ever has the opportunity, I highly recommend it over there. It's so cool. Just everything is so old. Here in the States, especially in the Midwest, it's like if a building's more than 100 years old, it's like a national heritage site. Yeah, that's like, oh. true. It's like, whoa, we should make this into a museum or something. And like over there, if it's 100 years old, it's the newest building in the city. Yeah, that's, wow. just, that's actually crazy to think about. I mean, it's thousands of years old. It's like, and it's we're still talking, there. We're talking BC. Yeah, literally stuff from bc it's that's just, nuts that it's still there it's, yeah it's, it's what's amazing it's still there some of it is actually ruined but then some of it is i mean they've either maintained it or made it so that it's has stuck around but so much of it is almost original it's just wild it's hard to like stuff that you see you're walking on streets that they've been around for longer than our country has it's just kind of wild cobblestone yeah when, I, th when I think of italy i think of like cobblestone streets mm-hmm bricks everywhere yeah the history is one thing to go over there for and i love the history of it it's really interesting but holy cow if you want a trip for food and like wine and beer and all that jazz it is unbelievable that's kind of what it's like if you're not from here and you come to cormorant you know you drive through the hallowed streets you drive by the town hall it's like 75 years old yep. you know you're <laughs> buddy's mom went to school there and then you drive by the cormorant store and you go wow you know big ken gets gas there in the morning and then of course there's the pub <laughs> the best burgers in town yeah. Yeah. it's can just you, it's just like italy you know can yeah, you actually much. imagine people in italy going yeah i went to america i spent 14 days in cormorant <laughs> <laughs> dude i think we gotta take like a group trip i think it'd be so fun i don't know where we would go Film and how much too. time you yeah, guys yeah, gotta yeah. go to germany too germany is sweet especially during Oktoberfest. dude, dude i want i want to go yeah, october, next year yeah. next year we actually got to do that what's up with Oktoberfest? god that looks cool <laughs> what's up with it not being in october it's in october Really? Nope, it's in September. September 16th through October 3rd. So why is it called Oktoberfest? That's what I'm trying I mean, to figure out. It just ends know. in October? Dude, why hmm. is there like, you know, not, uh, there's a lot of pretty women there. <laughs> what's up <laughs> DJ, with that's that just your <laughs> Snapchat. That's just, you're what's just seeing the hot just chicks on Snapchat, dude. Mike Malak, CJ's Snapchat. scrolling real. Like, like no, it's the video of the girls like holding like 35. Like is that 35 the standard situation Because they're there? all wearing their, uh, they're wearing their. Um, the girdle. Their, no, yes. what, yeah. what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The corset. Yeah. Is it a well, girdle? Well, it's a girdle. Think, yeah. And then they like, it's just the way that they sew them over there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think they the sew The ears are bigger and the girdles are tighter. Oh, yeah. that'd be a good time, though. Yeah, we, we actually got to go next year. Dress. Uh -huh. okay. Dirndl dress. Dirndl? D-I-R-N-D-L. Oh, yeah, Dirndl, not girdle. What's a girdle? <laughs> girdle something different. We'll go with girdle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what else is there to do over there? I'd imagine a lot. It's a full country, but like <laughs> in when many I, countries, well, actually. Well, <laughs> many countries. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like Germany. Like uh -oh. if we go to Germany, like what else could we do there besides for just get wicked drunk? Drive fast. Yeah. Dude, oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Fast. That would be yeah. pretty good. What, what are we gonna do first, though? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Car watching is pretty fun over there. There's a lot of cool cars around here, but you don't see very many Bugattis in Cormorant. So you'll you see, saw a Bugatti you, you there? One here? In Vienna, there I saw a Bugatti. Uh, wasn't a Chiron yet. It was a little bit of Veyron. Yep. Um, and yeah, I mean, you'll see just unbelievable cars while you're there, and you'll just be like walking around, and it's like, oh, okay. The cheapest car out of a group is like nine hundred thousand dollars. Like, damn, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, it's way cool seeing those cars like out and about than like seeing a Bugatti at a a big car show or at SEMA or something. Like, hit yeah, that's hard. cool. But like, you almost expect it to be there. But yeah, you see that guy taking it to like morning yeah. tea, yeah. and you're yeah. like, fuck yeah, dude. I still remember like the first time I saw a Ferrari drive by, mm. and just being like mind blown. Like you'd only heard about them or like seen them in magazines or on the posters from your uh, school mm -hmm. things. And uh, gosh, that was so cool. And I often think about that. Now we're, now we're kind of tainted to it, you know, but. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Continue. Can you grow up? No, I can't, dude. I'm doing he's, my best he's not to. He's trying to stay this way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we just walk around yours that sits in the garage all, all the day. time. You don't, don't even drive the goddamn thing. thing. It's a crime. 
Well, it's just more fun to, you know, have the risk of it sitting there and not sure if you're going to come in and, and what's going to be wrong with it. Piled up on a four-wheeler, yeah. Anyway, sorry, continue about oh. how you're tainted. Okay, on. <laughs> oh, kind of threw me off. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about dates. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I still am, though. I still yeah. like, love seeing being out in public out in the and wild. seeing a nice car or something wild. like that. Yeah. Like, it just gets me so pumped. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool to see them sitting still, but they are meant to be moving. Mm-hmm. His really? car, Ben. It's supposed to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why Not I feel just like sit in some building. I guess. Yeah. What's your stand on like? I sometimes have a hard time with that. Like certain cars, I guess, should be in museums, but I think ninety-nine percent of cars should be driven at least a little bit. Are you on the hunt for a new guilt-free snack? Look no further than Kudo Popcorn, the official protein popcorn of the USC. Kudo Popcorn's revolutionary cooking method allows each bag of popcorn to have 10 grams of whey protein in every bag while still tasting delicious. Yes, you heard that right. 10 grams of protein in every single bag. For a limited time, our listeners get 25% off their entire order with code wide open at kudosnacks.com. I absolutely love snacking. If Whether I'm in the car or I'm in my office, I got to have a snack. And it's not very hard to find an unhealthy healthy snack, but it is hard to find one that's healthy and tastes good. Once I found Kudo, I was stoked. It tastes good. Give me some protein and it is healthy, which is great. When it comes to flavors, Kudo popcorn has some absolute bangers to choose from. They got garlic parmesan, white cheddar, and salty sweet kettle corn. They all taste incredible and make healthy snacking something you'll actually enjoy. You'll be amazed how Kudo popcorn has somehow made your favorite healthy snack even tastier and healthier. For a limited time, our listeners get an exclusive 25% off discount when they use the code wide open at Kudo snacks.com that's 25 percent off with code wide open at k-u-d-o snacks.com save some money and support the official protein popcorn of the usc and get pop you guys seen that senna that they like helicoptered up into yeah. a penthouse and then there's like that that's f40 just, or that, whatever that was on the yacht i know they can take that off but they also had to helicopter that on or maybe they crane crane it, yeah. It. yeah yeah i think i look at it as like people spend like a wicked amount of money on on art and it's just like yeah, a piece of art. I, I agree. If you come from that standpoint, completely agree. Yeah, yeah, there's a threshold where it's like you have FU money, and then there's the FU money where the money isn't even a thing, mm-hmm. where it's like you can afford to have. I mean, you have an F40 Ferrari that gets craned into your mega yacht that you drive <laughs> around for two weekends out of the year. And it's like that's a totally different level of wealth than, all right, well, I have like a cool car that I want to drive really fast. Like that's. I don't know. I think sure. if you have the ability and the means to do so, they should be utilized. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's at some point where it's like, yeah, it is truly a work of art that should probably be just kept perfectly in a glass box away from people. It's hard though, bro, because there's guys that have that about like their fucking C5 yeah, that's, Corvette. That's yeah. where the, oh, that are the, like, that's where the line gets comes blurry. out if the UV index is below two. Yeah. You know, but no rain. That's the type of person that has like the bra on the front of their car. Exactly. They deserve to get bullied at car meets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like somebody needs to go and tell them that that's not okay. Well, it no. is like that. I, because I agree, it's not okay, but at least they're driving it. But yeah, you're right. There's some people with certain cars that aren't even over like 100K, but they're like... And not even price-wise, but just yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. Just, it just is something that is meant to be used. Yeah. It's just, it's just a car. <clears throat> I get yeah. it. Like if there's like a, if you have some crazy or some like very significant sentimental value behind a there vehicle, then it's like, all right, I want to keep this pristine and I'll only take it out when it's like really special times. But... Mm-hmm. Outside of that, like to your example, if somebody just has a C5 Corvette, cool car, drive it. Yeah. Like, it's a cool car. Make sure you use it. I don't know. That's just... Yeah, take it to dinner. Yeah, take it to dinner. Take it to lunch. Maybe even breakfast. Damn. You never know. <laughs> He's fired Ben <laughs> up, dude. He might up, he might Jay. move it to the other garage <laughs> stall. <laughs> yeah. He might I'm at least consider started, taking it to lunch. He's going to hit a deer the next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Jeez, man, why would you say that? <laughs> Don't put oh. that bad juju on him, Ricky Bobby. Bro, so you guys, last night I did something that pumped my adrenaline up a little bit. Uh, so CF Moto gave us seven of those Papios, little one, 125 motorcycles. They also gave us one big, like, 700 motorcycle. We finally got it licensed, yep. titled, insured, everything as of, like, this week. So I'm like, I got to ride this thing, dude. It's getting freezing. Mm-hmm. Look at the weather. It's uh, at the moment was 43 degrees and was dipping down to about 36 right. in the next couple hours. And there's a patch of rain coming. And I was like, well, if I just wait 15 minutes, like looking at the radar, I'm good. 
took the bike to Fargo last night. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, since I waited that little bit for the rain, like obviously it got dark. That wasn't a huge issue. It's got lights. But I start, I'm like, man, it's cold. Why am I so cold right now? I got a you know coat on, winter <laughs> gloves on, everything. And I'm like, well, I forget when you're snowmobiling, you're not usually going like 70, 70. <laughs> yeah. for the whole time. Then the rain comes. And I'm oh, like, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm that guy. Like, I'm really like, I can't ride this thing. <laughs> yeah. huh? And I debated turning back, but you know, I'm already like 20 minutes into the drive. And I was like, about halfway. This is so dumb, dude. <laughs> and so, it's yeah. It's like 40 degrees out. And I've always just thought when I see motorcycle, when it's cold, whatever, do your thing. But it was windy and raining. And I was like, whenever someone gets caught in the rain, I'm just like, what an idiot. Like, how, how is that enjoyable at all? And then I was just bucking the rain for like, I don't know, 10 miles, just pouring. And I'm soaked. And then I got, I had to pull over like three times to warm my hands up. And I had to like take a shower right when I got home because my knees were so yeah. cold. Oh my gosh! And yeah, just uh, your knees? I mean, like, yeah, my body was fine. Feet were a little wet, but my knees, since it's like kind of a naked bike, like my knees oh. were just just like where you tapping were that. <laughs> yeah, they were just getting the getting Bucking the cold. The but wind. it was just funny. I pull in and it was just like that was again. It wasn't fun, but it like got my blood going. <laughs> I really liked that bike. Yeah, it was it was a ton of fun. So I'm I, looking forward to I'll get it back on Sunday and nice. then. Man, I have very little desire to ride a motorcycle on the street. You just, know, Ben, you're just not a rider. Not I guess rider. I'm not. Although, like, it doesn't sound like that fun. And it still does to me. It sounds like super fun as to why I did it. But just one of our other kind of like local buddies, he has a FZ07 and he likes stock gearing. He's not like trying to stunt it or anything, but he's like constantly interstate uh, uh, stand up wheelies, like stand on the seat, no brake, just, uh, you know, balancing. Ooh, Bro, just. <laughs> just laying long wheelies down he's like yeah dude i love wheeling it's like so fun i can't not wheelie it and he's like literally always wheeling and i'm just like it just doesn't seem worth it you know like the oh, speedy you're gonna say that you were gonna 65 no way mike says a stunt bike i no. could see it i'm, I I'm see hey, the whole i can't believe you don't have a stunt but mike, bike. mike's now but on street bikes he'll have a touring bike yeah he'll have <laughs> a crotch rocket a harley and then a stunt bike his Papio, and then also a stunt Papio. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have six of them. Oh, that sounds like the good life. But yeah, I, I'm totally into the idea of a stunt bike. But I, what I'm not into is the idea of these like super fast highway wheelies, like oh. leave the stock sprocket. It sounds like a death wish. Sounds like cheese grater nation. Yeah, yeah dude. dude, you go over backwards at 80 miles per hour. Yikes. Bad day. Man, bad day. It's one so, skinned up knee. So that's when you like you can just tell like <laughs> none of us have none of us have spent like a lot of seat time like on a road motorcycle like out on the road. Dude, so I the grew whole drive up on a road like I put on so many miles with my dad riding like passenger. Dude, we traveled all over the place on that thing. True, you and did do that. I think between that and then like trail riding on snowmobiles with him too when I was younger, I was just. Burnt. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, I'm like a 45 year old on. man for <laughs> the amount of seat that. time that I have, dude. I think it'd be fun if you were in a place that was maybe a little more fun to ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the problem for us is like your dream Sunday ride is like Itasca. Yeah. You know, yeah. great place. Yeah. But it's like pretty boring. You know, if you if you have the Rocky Mountains in your back door or even like i love yeah. that you looked at justin and said great place because you know justin <laughs> know. loves itasca I'm like, what's wrong with itasca bro <laughs> i love that place don't come after justin's parks <laughs> speaking of it, dude i do you remember like going to itasca for the first time i remember being i was like such a little nerd about it i was like this is this this tiny little streams the start of the mississippi and we're walking across it it's Yo, crazy all right this might be a stupid question <clears throat> but if the whole river is flowing, how does it just start from a stream? Like, yeah. like what what feeds tributaries, the stream? Tributaries, tributaries. Yeah, other what? streams. Yeah, other, other streams. streams. Yeah, but it seems like <laughs> you didn't like. I don't know. It's it, not seems like a, it seems like a lot of water flowing down into the ocean. Tributaries. He never opened his eyes when he was on those motorcycles. Like, no, rides there's a that. lot of things I didn't retain in school, but there's like the very basics, and like rivers is one of them. How that works? What do you mean tributaries? <laughs> Wait, are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. CJ, you explain this to me. I want CJ to explain this to me. It's like a bunch of little, little streams that meet and make one big one, which then forms and becomes a river. But they're not all at the same time. No, yeah, yeah. I, they build. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Wait, so, so what don't you understand about rivers? <laughs> yeah, well, I no, they and just I think keep now he's flowing, he does. man. <laughs> like, how come they don't like run out of water? <laughs> No, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you confused about rivers for? I guess now that you say that, yeah. Now that I think about it a little bit more. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't believe you for a second. She's <laughs> 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 like, get this off of me! Yeah. I don't want to talk about rivers yeah. anymore. No, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> now that you mention it, a bunch of little ones make a big one. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> You guys have like a fun fact. If someone asks you a fun fact, no. I always just pull out. I know it's random. I'm just like, I don't know. The Nile River is the longest river in the world, and it flows north. There's only uh, nine rivers that flow north. Where are you well, I hanging out, two. Mike, where people are asking for a fun fact? <laughs> I thought fact. there was two, but the Red River. Where are you hanging out where they're like, hey, hit us with a fun fact? <laughs> just my intellectual friends, my guy. <laughs> okay. Hey, that makes CJ. sense. Yeah. yeah, you clearly haven't met them. That makes sense. You thought there were only two rivers? Yeah, I thought there were only two, but there's more. So, like, I've been steering people wrong for a while. You actually pulled that fun fact out? So, your fun fact was just wrong? No, no, my fun fact was that the Nile River was was just a lie. (laughs) No, no, the fun... Best type of facts, dude. Give me a fun fact. Uh, When I was 14 (laughs) years old... I was offered a million dollars to come be in the marching band. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? That was what? that's a funny ass video. Have you seen that, Justin? What? what? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I got a. This is like the biggest up. lie ever told. <laughs> this is when I think of lies. That's like my go-to lie now. I've never heard something so outlandish. I ain't go to college, but um, I turned it down. Oh, yeah, I turned it down just to do this, just to grind from the rap. So you, you uh, had an opportunity to do the drumming yeah, thing, a scholarship and everything. Where at? Um, I think it was like in Jacksonville. Mm. Yeah, a big a big band in Jacksonville. It was a big college though, and they offered me like fifteen, some shit like ten million or something like that, five million something like that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <A> scholarship. <laughs> okay, but not five million dollars. They offered you five million dollars to play the drum. Yeah. Fuck are we doing here? Like, what, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> I was so younger, like. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know what it was. Are you sure they offered you five million dollars? I turned that? it down. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, like so younger, like, like he squints. He's like, I was so younger, like I didn't know what was going on. I was so younger, dude. Dude, when he cracks a smile and kind of laughs, turned it down. Yeah. Turned it down. <laughs> I he love was like shit, dude. I didn't think he was gonna question me on this. Yeah. I love the interviewers. Uh, the fuck, are we doing here, <laughs> dude? How hard do you have to shred in a marching band <laughs> to for get five yeah. million dollars? <laughs> how much money you gotta have in your bank account to not know if it was fifteen, yeah, or five million? <laughs> That's what I've always loved about you, Ben. Is like when we're hanging out and some people, someone says something not as outlandish as that. Or they just say something like kind of like where it doesn't add up. You'll just ask them like not even just full interview. You're just like, okay, wait, well then how does that work? And then we, I like get, cause I would never ask those questions. I love it. I get yeah. to like hear them explain it. I'm not saying whatever that person said is a lie. Like it just maybe doesn't add up. And you're like, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they're just sitting there yeah. just dead in their tracks. Yeah. Like, damn, I shouldn't have lied. <laughs> damn it. Yeah. No, but not even if it's a lie. Just Ben's Ben's a good bent viewer. God, can you imagine being paid fifteen million dollars to come and play the drums at a college? I well, he was, wasn't. He was. Bro, lying. Lying. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably one of the most wild lies I've seen on social media. That's so. Funny. I turned that it down. So dumb. <laughs> I just so wanted funny. to grind <laughs> instead of getting f- a fifteen million dollar bag to play a tambourine. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I just want to be in the mud. Dude, I'll do that for $1,000. <laughs> I don't need $15 million to bang on a drum and, and walk down a street with my bros. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I love that. I just wanted to grind. <laughs> down. I turned it down. I turned it down. Turned it down. But I was like, so young, though, right? <laughs> like, the way he, like, so young. Like, so younger, like. I was so younger. <laughs> it's quite slow. So Justin, what what else you been up to on like a daily, daily basis? You know, long pause. Justin yeah. goes fishing. I have a little boat that I've been fishing out of a little bit, so I try to fish. If you got I a get, what? You got a little rod too? Yeah, I got a little rod, <laughs> little boat, <laughs> catch a little fish. 
<laughs> Pulling yeah. up his little truck. <laughs> yeah, got, my, got my little oh, truck. Man. Got my little boat. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I uh, it's a good way to pass the time. I really like being outdoors. So if I can't hunt, then I'll fish. But it's like yeah, a nice it's, classic male activity. Yes. Well, what I applaud about you is that it, along the long list of things I like to do, I really like fishing. I mean, I Mike, do it. Mike's like, I need to go fishing. <laughs> He's like checking the radar. All right, it looks like a tornado is coming in. But <laughs> that sounds I, more like motorcycle yeah, yeah, I think if I yeah. wait 11 minutes, I should be able to beat it. <laughs> it's out in the middle of the lake. It's just rolling. I love that. How to add adrenaline to your fishing trip. Yeah. Justin built, he's an electrical engineer. He built like a, what is it, a kayak or is it slightly bigger than that? So I, I have a kayak and I've built a motor controller and then have a trolling motor that I had on hand. Right. So I can zip around the lake on this well, little kayak. I mean, essentially a trolling motor, but like it's all. I drive it with my feet so yeah. I can fish the whole time. It looks absurd. If you see me on the water, it just looks like I'm some like wacko. I, I probably am. But I, I just look. What up. are you wearing, Justin? Usually, I don't know. Five piece suit, <laughs> <laughs> all leather. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so he doesn't get sunburned. He's, he's, like wearing, he's, he's wearing like a full blown like knight. He's armor wearing armor. He's wearing like a he's wearing like a full blown knight armor. I'm just head to in toe. Chain mail. <laughs> he's got a gag ball in his mouth. Oh my gosh. Dude, that'd be a really, <laughs> that'd be a really funny bit. Who can wear the weirdest thing while fishing, or I guess while doing anything? I would probably have Big Ranch help me build a transformer boat costume that I could wear. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that publicly yet. It's a, such a good idea. I don't want somebody to steal it. All right, I I agree. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really good idea. Yeah, we might have to use your help with that. If you're a professional uh, fisherman. <laughs> and you wouldn't mind helping out a couple of degenerates <laughs> with a video idea, reach out to our email. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I think you might have to preface if they're uh, fishing tournaments because there's a lot of fishermen out there. In Minnesota, yeah. local, local, local. local Um, Justin, you're an electrical engineer. You might be able yep. to help us with this idea as well. Mm -hmm. uh, making like a remote control four-wheeler. Like fully remote control? Like... Yeah, yeah, so, like, you could, like, drive it from sitting in the truck. But, like, I don't love to, like, ride anymore, but I still want to just feel something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is, it a, is it, like, you're a little electric four-wheeler, or is it, like, a gas no, like quad? No, full gas. size gas. You have a utility quad down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you could do it with something like that. Because sure. then it's just throttle steering. Yeah. I mean, that's about it. Do yeah. you need, yeah. do you yes, need yeah, to be right. able to drive it from anywhere in the world or just like... Fuck it, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, how much uh, more electrical engineering does that take? Uh, <laughs> to be able to... If you want to turn it on and drive it when you're like on the other side of the planet, um, just need a cell modem. Dude, Ooh. I want to send this thing in a shipping container <laughs> to Africa <laughs> with all the Hellcats that are stolen. And drive that thing out and just have it going rogue. Or, yeah, we could do that. Not to be insensitive, but just quoting pop culture and movies, we could make it look like a Godzilla robot and ship it to a uh, Asian country. Yeah, that wasn't insensitive. Just, insensitive <laughs> well, I don't know where the line is <laughs> right, anymore. You thought that was a good idea to say? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, the logistics of turning it into RC, sure. The logistics of making yeah. a freaking four-wheeler look like Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's pitch that one to Big Red. Like, can we maybe, is it possible to like remotely drive? It doesn't have to have a clutch. He's like, what if we just bring it as a robot to Japan <laughs> and just demolish <laughs> cities with it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it has to be big, too. So that would be, like, definitely a fun project for us to do uh, regardless. But Ken has been talking that he's kind of hit, like, a peak in his life where everything that can be automated is automated. So he was looking to uh, for your help to start automating other tasks, like, you know. Like wiping his butt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he already got a, uh, a bidet. Wait, for he got a bidet. That's, that's, that's that why I was going to go. Um, is it a portable bidet, though? You seen one of those? It, it's a bidet. It's in a box. It has not been opened yet. Mm. One time. That's what he needs your it help doesn't with. Set <laughs> it's up. opening that's the yeah, box. It doesn't set, set itself, itself up. up. <laughs> I, I imagine uh, Ken's life one day being like, he wakes up, opens his eyes, 
puts his feet down, like shoes come out of from underneath his bed, and then he just stands up on a conveyor belt, and it, and it <laughs> like conveyors him into the sh- into the bathroom, and then there's just a shower that pops down as he's on the conveyor belt, <laughs> sprays him down. <laughs> then he just has to turn, and then they start like combing his hair. He just has to open his mouth, it brushes his teeth, and then at the end of the conveyor belt, it goes into his closet. Then we're like, he's got his robots. Hang, like hidden away, bro. bro they, is living they, they in a Pixar movie. <laughs> they dress him up. No, he's not that technologically advanced. He's just lazy. <laughs> it would be so funny because after all that, he'd pull up his phone, sit on the couch, and be just like, <sighs> at the end of it. At the end of wow, it, just what a like, morning. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to. Uh, we're just having nice fall Saturday, and I was thinking last week we were mowing the lawn. With all those guys together, I feel like it's the ideal male Saturday, you know? Mowing the lawn with 100 people is an ideal oh, male yeah. Saturday. 10 minutes, like full you, 10 acres, Scott? If you could drop for just a generic man, what's the ideal Saturday setup? Dirt bikes. I Dirt mean, bikes. your wife's out of town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justin's got one box check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. What, what would it be another great thing? Maybe uh, going fishing? Yeah, yeah. Fan of fishing. Justin, dude, Justin's check, wife is dude, out of town. Check, and he went fishing this check. morning. He's now catching up boys? with the boys. Dude, had some Holy beers shit, before boys. this. We're doing it. Had oh beer for lunch. God. Check. Oh man, that's I'm, not. I, I might think be having your, an ideal all, That's what I, all you're missing is like a, uh, some speed. Whether it's in a car or you're running, <laughs> crank. Like, yeah, no, yeah, not, not, dude. Yeah. All you're missing is just crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. Justin doesn't do drugs, Mike. <laughs> Mike, stop trying to corrupt our, our dude, smart friends. I, I, I'm. I grew up in a. Like when yeah, was a hard neighborhood? <laughs> we know. I grew up yeah. my idea Growing Saturday. Crash, <laughs> dude. Like Crush up I, some sweet crack rock. What is what speed? What is speed? I, thought speed I don't want to get off topic speed's here. Cocaine. I thought. I don't I know think it is, man. What is it? Like I, I know it's a drug, but cocaine. whenever it's like I something harder in there. Really? Yeah. Just says amphetamine. Oh. 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 Mm. Not good. Not good. I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of I might have checked all the boxes. I woke up. I went fishing. I made coffee. Nice. Got lunch with the boys. Got a lunch beer. Now we're hanging out, just having my male conversation. Yeah, mm-hmm. bunch of male conversation. I think all you're missing now is just like one task that you definitely either didn't sign up for oh, or didn't plan yeah. to do. You know, just something where like some some guys are having a tough time lifting something into the yeah. Something no. yeah. But then it spirals yeah. into something like now all of a sudden you're buddies and now you're like over at their place rolling dice and then yep. you win a bunch of money. Because you just got lucky, well, whatever, and then actually, you're playing pool over at the at the bar, and then it's just a, a great time. It all starts just because, like, you you try to be the friendly neighbor. You see somebody, they're like struggling to move boxes in their house, and it's like, oh, don't worry, I'll give you a hand, and then come over, and then all of a sudden you're twenty grand in debt. And you're in debt. <laughs> it's just it down, it goes downhill so fast. You just got to be careful with these ideal male Saturdays. <laughs> I was going to say you they can't like, go too ideal. <laughs> you like help move the box for the old lady. And then she's like, here, here's my son's baseball card collection that you can have, you know? And then you get it and you get a bunch of money, you sell it. That's right. <laughs> <It's ideal>. <laughs> <laughs> Steal stuff from an old lady. <laughs> when he I haven't of his seen ideals. my son in 10 years. Take his baseball cards. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do feel like an important part of the ideal male Saturday is getting like a, a task around the house That's what I mean. that you need yep. it to done. Mm, yep. You know, Dude. whether you like leave oh. pull the driveway quick or does Dude, anybody you could yeah, clean the garage? Yeah. And okay, maybe. there you go. Dude, cleaning that's huge. the garage is Brother, such a that's dude huge. thing. Like just going in there and like I'm gonna wipe something down and then maybe move some boxes around. Maybe I'll sweep it out. Maybe I'll even bust out the shop vac. Holy cow, man! That just gets my motor running. Yeah, it's like it's just like stuff that didn't really need to get done, yep. but like you just did it. Okay, any Saturday that involves power tools, mm, that's man. a good Saturday as well. Dude, Drill some holes. Oh man, Justin, I could make your day, brother. I gotta set up a sauna at my house. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. you got one? Yeah. You Dang. like which uh, infrared or steam? Steam. Mm. No shit. Where'd you get it from, Mark? How much? Don't worry about it. Was it a Mark price? You got it, it for Mark free, price. you motherfucker. Yeah, Mark. You got one for free? Well, it's it's the hot tub price with Mark. It's the drop it down the stairs price. Three ninety nine, baby. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? In your garage or what? Downstairs, I suppose? Yeah. Yep. That's going to be nice. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. You, you got some ideal mail. You're setting up tonight up. or what? 
Uh, maybe. Hopefully, it depends how many yeah. helping hands I got. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Um, well, Ken will come help. Yeah, my house has been like getting renovated for the past like, three months, pretty much, and uh, it's finally done. I had breakfast at my house for the first time. Oh, it's done! Uh, congrats, bro. That's pretty fast. Much, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, I got a couch delivered. Two couches delivered Ooh. yesterday. So wow. I have a place. upstairs and downstairs. Yep. Wow. I have a place to sit talk now. About, dude, talk about a deal Friday. Two couches. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming together. It's pretty nice. I feel like uh, I feel domesticated. I feel Not like a feral family. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I, it's so funny. I mean, you've been living in this house for how many months? Just no couches. Four, yeah, four months. Yeah, you just cooked your first meal. Yeah, this morning. <laughs> I didn't have any chairs to sit down on. No couch. Uh, wow. Barely had a TV. Like, I had no source of entertainment. I you need to get a little what, violin what here like, for him. I'm, can you just give me, like, a little... Uh, Brings a tear to my eye. Elaboration on what barely a TV yeah, is. What? It was small. Like, it was is only it small, or does that inches. mean you have a broken TV, or or does it mean... It was only 4K. <laughs> 4K at 30 frames. <laughs> No, it was just on the ground. Oh, okay. That 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 is a uh, yeah. That's no, the right way to say. Boxes. Yeah, barely <laughs> a TV. On, yeah, it was on. Uh, Dude, yeah. uh, have you ever have you guys heard the thing where it's like you know how men will put their uh, bed on the floor yeah. among a few other things? Maybe you just have one chair and yeah, a TV. TV. But um, the the mm-hmm. the girl equivalent, I guess, lately that I've seen on TikTok is that girls will have tiny TVs. Yeah, which is crazy in this day and age. Like. <laughs> Girls always have a like tiny a ass tiny TV. TV, and not Why? always. I shouldn't say like always, but obviously there's a the few. And then you're just and then Why? Like that true around. though? <laughs> Dude, Megan had the smallest TV <laughs> I've ever seen throughout all of college. It was smaller than my laptop. <laughs> and she had it sat on top of a dresser all the way across. I her. know, I had dude. Fucking binoculars. <laughs> watching Netflix. Dude, that is how every girl <laughs> it goes over the fucking telescope. <laughs> like, Hold okay. on, man. What is up with that? Dude. They just don't they have better eyesight or they don't realize they make, <laughs> they make bigger TVs? I think the better eyesight, eyesight, yeah. At some oh. point in every man's life, they, they skip the box spring and put the mattress on the floor, at least for a certain stint. Yeah, yeah. I was but rocking I've, that for a minute. Yeah, and I, and there's nothing wrong with it, but it definitely is an eyesore, which is like, who cares if it's an eyesore? But I don't think there's anything wrong with like the is quality it, of sleep you're getting. Is it an eyesore? I think so, yeah. Like you walk in, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not, it doesn't cost. <laughs> damn it! It's like when you look, it's like again. when you look at somebody welding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You walk into somebody's house. physical pain. Ah, fuck, man! Why did you tell me, <laughs> dude? Can we shut your door, bro? Your bedroom door. <laughs> Sorry, it's making Mike uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you have any like beer boxes that you flattened out yeah. and like stapled that to the wall yet? Bad. Yeah. You know, Why I would just, you do that? Do it. Well, it's Wait. Ben's first house. It's the first time he's lived on his own. Why would you staple beer boxes to a wall? <laughs> okay, right, fine. You never Nail been to them to the wall. House? Is that what you do? Yeah, and then yeah, you, you hit, never... and then you put all the bottles that you guys drank up yeah. on the top. Yeah, yeah. you did. You, you're working on your bottle yeah. collection, right? Yeah. Okay, Are I've you... seen the bottles. I've never seen the. The staple. Really? Have you ever seen the boxes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clearly, yeah. I'm uncultured. Yeah, no, for sure. That's. I what mean, what the fuck's wrong with me? The I bottles are easy. You guys but two podcasts like in a row, man. Putting <laughs> 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 great. Now, so just now I got to go to college. All the, all the to- totally different coming. demographics is coming them. after him now. Them and sexy <clears> red. <throat> Honestly, there's dude. There's nothing wrong with doing that either. But like, I did it, and looking back on it, the whole bottle above the the kitchen. I mean, hope the hope the trend dies at some point, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a fun thing to do. But I did it, and then once it was time to take them down, it's like right after I threw all of them away. I'm like, why did I ever put empty oh. bottles up there? Oh, I, I thought think. you were gonna say, why did I throw this <laughs> yeah, away, man? Yeah. <laughs> Moving into the next house, <laughs> look, yeah. look why? at this kitchen. God, it's bare. <laughs> why did I save these? I feel like it's just part of like maturing yeah. as an adult. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's like things you do as a man growing up. You gotta put. Garbage around your house is decoration. <laughs> yep. Throw a kegger in the living room. Uh, one thing I still just love is like I'm I'm not gonna go overboard with it, but in mo- mostly in the garage, I just love a good flag on the wall. Do you have Maybe any flags a couple on the on the wall at your new house? No, in the garage though. Yeah. So, so Sydney Peter, said no flags. Yeah, in the house. yeah, no yeah, flags yeah. In the house. Damn. Yeah. Mike, Mike started it. stapling it. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're gonna turn this garage into kind of like your man cave, what what's every man cave got to have? Flag on the wall, obviously. It's got to have a ladder. Uh, it's got. 
What are you doing with that <laughs> ladder, Mike? <laughs> I don't know. Just, just so in there, there in case. Well, actually, I had to take down a bunch of beehives or wasp hives the other day, so I'll use it for that. But it's uh, it should have a fridge. Mine gotta doesn't have, have a fridge. Yeah, it's got to have a beer it's fridge. Have like, a fridge. I think sure. you actually, this is a tough thing for me. You actually have to justify whether or not you're going to put enough drinks in that fridge and have enough drinks coming out of that fridge. Otherwise, Ooh. it's not worth it. It's, it's like that bad. fridge over yeah, there. That I'm not even one saying Celsius like, in it today. So we got mini fridges up the wazoo around yeah, here. But that's what I'm saying. I guess, what does a fridge cost a month to run? Like an, a f- decently efficient fridge. Like maybe Ken? $3. Oh, yeah, a couple okay. bucks. Never really? mind then. We're spending way like more than that on beer. Here, you got like a diesel refrigerator? What are you worried about the cost know. of your fridge? I don't know. I just Look at about your fridge being plugged in, Mike. No, I'm just in worried college. About, like, I remember that my, uh, is your refrigerator fucking running? Steve, Mike's roommate, had an extra mini fridge plugged in, and it was it was either that Steve was going to make you pay for the electricity that the mini fridge cost, or you were going to make him pay. I think it might have been the other way around because I was all about. It. I'm like, dude, I want a mini fridge. Of course, I want a mini fridge. Because that's what it was. Steve was trying to get you to pay for the mini. Oh no, but uh, I, I think every man cave needs to have a uh, old rolling chair that's just worked yeah i yeah. love that it might have been taken out of a dumpster like four years ago yeah i have one of those yeah. in my Still garage being used. right now but it's mangled because it's just a comfy seat man yep. it's been yeah. it's got a lot of seat time on it oh yeah a lot of use over the years and same thing gotta have a couch that's completely blown out but when you sit in it you're just like damn this is comfy so it's, it's hard home. to get out it's of home i drive past the garage and it doesn't necessarily have to be a dude it usually is in the garage um and they have a tv you can usually they have somewhere to sit and it's a good vibe I am fully jealous. I drive by. Oof, wish I had a TV. And wish I just hung out in my garage like that. Just start hanging out in your garage. Yeah. Again, your Mike's going to start hanging garage, out in his garage when it's 30 degrees <laughs> in there. <laughs> I just finally got around to it. That's that's just hey, that's he the just the best forgot part. that he hangs on a gigantic garage yeah. every <laughs> single day. <laughs> I didn't. This is this nice. Is fucking, <laughs> it, it came to my head oh, as soon as I said that. I'm like, wait. This shit rocks, bro. It's so nice to be alone. I'm such a man. I love hanging out in the shop, and you guys know that, so you're right. I, it kind of came to mind as soon as I said that. But I have a heater in there, and I think I get so excited about having a heated garage because grew up, never had a heated garage. But like probably until like I was 18, I think we finally got a heater in there. And having a heated garage to me is just like, dude, like you could just be in here. It's not freezing cold. Yeah. Like I can just change my headlight, and it's like I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> like it's great. It's nice. It's the little things. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I this is a garage thing. Some of you guys get it. Some of you won't. But uh, when you have a snow-covered vehicle and you bring it into your heated garage and you check it the next morning and all the snow has gone, Ooh, there's just yeah. that massive puddle of water underneath it that's mm-hmm. so satisfying. It's like, ah. Oh. That's seeping into, like, the walls. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I don't <laughs> just ruining your drywall. Like it's like, yeah, you nice. see it just slowly <laughs> going up the drywall and it's starting to, like, pop yeah. out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh. Well, you hop in, <laughs> your car's warm. You're like, fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going to add to that bitch tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you got a drain in your garage oh. or no? No. Ooh. Which is, Yeah. Although it had one of those weird, like, uh, it's like a mat. It's like a floor saver, and it has, like, inflated edges, and it's like a big black mat. I'm like, does it does that hold the water? And then Must. Yeah, must. Interesting. Interesting. I've never seen one. Yeah, man. Growing up, I never had a uh, heated garage, so anytime I'd, like, go over to Ryan's house, yeah, it's, you're just like, like, dude, you could just park your, bro, your yours car. Your car is warm. Yours was <laughs> it was, like, like, the most mind-blowing thing to me. I was like, this is crazy, bro. Like, every day, it's like a fresh start. Like, you don't have snow <laughs> on it. <laughs> fresh <laughs> start. The varying levels of heated garages, too. You know, you have people that keep it 50, 55, 60, and then... Again, we'd come into yours, and it's you know, like, props to Randy. Randy's it was like fully seventy. Yeah, it was <laughs> there, bro. <laughs> yeah. If you needed, if you were getting cold in the house, you go to the garage. Yeah. <laughs> Last night, I was uh, extra bored on my phone. So you know, when you like scroll through your apps, you know, you start out on Instagram, and then you go to maybe Twitter, and then maybe That's maybe you know, you you like go through all your apps, right? And my last case is Facebook. And so I hop on Facebook, and I even went through my own personal Facebook, so I went over to the Z-Boys account. Oh, my (laughs) gosh, I was digging deep, dude. We had uh, recently posted the boat ramp video on Facebook, and it's blowing up. It's got like 10 million views over there. Yeah, gosh. And generally, when you think of Facebook, you think of everybody being old and cranky and hating it. But people love Facebook. The boat ramp video, the stories, it, it's like a community in there. People yeah. like, I used to do this with my, you know, uncle, my drunk uncle would take we us to the boat ramp. stand and watch, yeah. Yeah, we'd stand and watch. It is, it's the most wholesome community. 
on Facebook. I no actually shit. am surprised Whoa. at how positive the comments were. Like, Same. love this. Wish they would have been there to give me some encouragement last weekend. Like, stuff like that. Like, oh, I'm damn. just like... It warms my heart. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I figured people would be pissed on Facebook. That actually gives me a, a little bit of faith in the Facebook community. I love Facebook. I, I'd say I go on Instagram and Facebook equally as much. I might even use Facebook more than Instagram because Whoa. it's fun because you can go on like groups and mm -hmm. find weird stuff for sale and just I would like, definitely and see that girl that you went to high school with that's she had pregnant a kid now. now. Yeah, I would definitely consider it more fun. Like it, it, it is. is. Like you're kind of like what? what you am don't I really doing know now? what yeah. you're gonna get. On and on Instagram, you you might see the coolest video you've ever seen all day. But yeah. like, no, I kind of get it. sick of Instagram. Yeah. So there was this one lady. Back to it. Uh, her name is Sharice. She said, I've been known to have to try multiple times while telling the other people watching, don't worry, I'll get it right in a minute. She said, I would have loved the encouragement. And so I just commented back because I was real bored. I said, best attitude to have. Love it. Thumbs up emoji. Some guy comments, Paul comments back, being a MILF always helps, smiley face. <laughs> so I go back to Sharice's profile. It's kind of a MILF. I go, <laughs> nice. I love that. And then what's the other one? Some dude's like. Uh, someone says, so funny, love it. And then James responds, I bet you don't even own a boat. And then someone responds to him and says, I bet you nobody would go on yours if you did. <laughs> <laughs> to which he responds, I'm licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard. Well, and you then just I lost your job. And then I responded, weird flex for the scenario. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to see Facebook, you know, turn in a corner. Facebook's coming back, man. Think how positive Facebook would be if Jake was banned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he just picks his fights here and there. We talked about that. Like, he just loves like picking fights, yeah. verbal keyboard fights on Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm always curious, like what these keyboard warriors are like in real life. Jake, <laughs> it's just Jake. Just I, I, think I, I think just I'd like, be like more stoked if they were like Jake. Like it, whether I mean, you like, like him or not, actually a good person. Yeah, just, like, like actually, are these people yeah. just dicks. fired up? Or yeah. yeah, yeah. Or do they just think they know more about a scenario? Like what is it? You picture somebody who is so angry online. And then you see them in real life, and I feel like ninety percent of the time they're not Pretty, actually yeah, mad. Normal. They're just like trolling, trolling, mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, yeah. Or they just don't have the courage to say anything in real life. Yep. You, I feel like you can usually tell when somebody's like actually hating, and when somebody's like just trolling. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like a lot of those those were mostly fun comments. Yeah. But like you see comments every once in a while, it's like Jesus, who hurts you? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. damn, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's you know. just it's always come down to like the getting a text from someone and not under like you truly you can't get the sarcasm, you can't get the emotion that you get yeah. through text. And so you're right. I think a lot of them are just kind of having having fun, but like saying their thing. Yeah, and maybe it gets just taken. trying to like correct how it was Who crawled I, up your ass. See, I texted CJ today and said, "Are you coming to dinner or no?" And then he called me. He's like, hey, man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm on my way. I was like, no, I was just wondering, like, if you were coming or not, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, exactly. you can take things yeah, the wrong sure. way. Read in the wrong tone. When we were at uh, Heydays, there was, like, two kids walking by our booth, and one of them went, overrated. And I popped out, and I said, the fuck did you just say? And the kid literally went white and was like, oh, Ben, Ben, what's up, dude? We're such big fans. And it was one of those in person, because that happens a lot yeah. over... Comments. Yeah, yeah. What'd you, you know, say then? I oh, fuck. They literally came up and they were like, "Can we get a picture? Can we get a picture?" I said, "No." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, bro, That's how it should be?" Yeah, I was like, "No." I just walked away. Am I a hater for hating haters? Well, you're coming mm. around. Wait, what? I don't think you're what? a hater for hating haters. No, I don't think you are a hater for hating haters. Maybe it's one of the only things that you're allowed to be a hater of. I'm working on not being a hater, but you know, it's like uh, I don't think I was a big one, but being a hater is definitely not a good thing. Mm -mm. Yeah, just being like a the constant negative on the internet. There's certain people. Or in life. I think there's a difference between being a jokester on the internet and then being a hater. Yeah. And also, and dude, I don't understand the hate of just like going on to be so angry typing something. It's such a funny thing to me because it's like that's not how you want to get your <laughs> anger. You can only type so mad <laughs> before it just like it's not going to work. Like... You stupid bitch. Well, that's what it is nope. too. You can even you can even have the most perfect like hating response ever, and it could be the most detailed and like all even one hundred percent true. But it's still just a bunch yeah. of words. And yeah, then somebody the can just 
literally respond, shut up, nerd. And then you get, <laughs> yeah. then you get ratioed yeah, yeah, on yeah, your Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. always those that win. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, wrap it up. On that on note, it, it is time <laughs> for you. Classic Mayo activity. Yeah. It is time for all of you nerds to shut up. Damn, buddy. Till next week. <laughs> Till next week. Let's go clean the garage, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you next week. Peace. Bye, Mom. <laughs>